Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the Arena Survival Action Roguelike itself. We are going to be jumping back to Jack to check out the laser gun, which has been buffed since the last patch, which is very exciting because it's already a perfect fit for Jack anyways. He loves extremely high, even if it's slow damage. So laser gun is going to be a perfect fit anyways with a four times damage scaling on range damage and scaling very well with percentage. It just seems perfect. So we get 50% extra damage against bosses and elites, 200% uh, extra materials drop, but there are four times less enemies, but they have a lot more health, a lot more damage. If you missed the prior Jack run, uh, that is the situation. So the, the reason this character likes... Whoop, a likes high slow damage is just you know less enemies means uh less concern that we're not killing enemies fast enough to protect ourselves like with enemies maybe uh just getting up in our face too easily too often that being said like attack speed's not gonna be bad this has a two times crit right yep uh attack speed's not gonna be a bad thing to get it is a good thing to get no set there nah Get the other laser gun. No reason to roll again. We don't have enough to buy. Uh, we save. We do the hyper rolls, oop, especially on like wave three there. But laser gun is, it's already a weapon that I feel like was, I don't know. It was pretty good, but had a little bit of issues. Like the strongest run for this weapon, I feel like uh, was kind of like multitasker going all in on laser gun. Oh, shoot, there was another tree up there. That had historically been pretty darn good. Come on, man. Give me the flat ranged. So we hyper roll like crazy here uh, until we get every... Mutation's fine. I just don't think I want it. Lens will work. Ugly Tooth is actually, like, I think going to be completely irrelevant. This, this is, uh, the, the reason I think I like Jack so much, and you guys seem to, like, I've never played a character and gotten so many people saying, you should do more runs on that character. Okay, aside from the infinite, but, like, as far as just base Brotato characters, I didn't get, uh, nearly as many people saying to replay a character, uh, on any other character except for Jack. Like, it, which is understandable because i really do think it makes you play the game differently it lets you prioritize different stats that you maybe wouldn't have otherwise uh i'll take injection sure we're doing 56 damage already this is pretty nuts so yeah like it already scaled pretty well with flat or uh, with percentage damage and a flat buff just makes it scale even better right it just makes the scale all the more strongly. But we are going to be, uh, hopefully, just absolutely destroying bosses. Ripping them to smithereens. That is the plan. That is the goal. Is to get so strong at killing single targets that we, like, pretty much don't have to dodge at all. Like, go for one of the faster uh, kills we've ever had would be the dream, right? We are obviously, like, at risk. We're in you know, in danger because enemies do a lot more damage. So it's a little bit scary there. I don't think I could take injection. Uh, insanity is always a damage up on a gun that has, or on a weapon that has 2x crit uh, damage. It's always a damage up. Oop. So let's see. That's the, yeah, that's the other thing. Look at that. It does 78 damage now. It scales up the, uh, the damage scaling as well. From 400 to 450. The reason it can afford that is because it is so unbelievably slow, right? Like, that's how it can afford that. Um, but that doesn't really matter as much today. In the past, wow, that's the wake-up call. That's the wake-up call. That's the damage they do. Uh, in the past, historically, the runs that we've been able to really make work with Laser Gun have been multitasker. Uh, but, 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 but what else? I mean, like, mostly multitasker, right? Because it kind of glosses over the slow attack speed when you have, like, a million of them at the same time. So we're definitely already overflow killing. Definitely don't need more range. 
We're just going to try and stack up like the most single target unbelievable damage we can. If we could get like a little bit of attack speed, it would be good for us. Don't get me wrong. Like it does still increase our um, our damage output. Our damage per second still totally goes up by increasing attack speed. Duh. But it is no longer like a survival necessity, I, I feel. It's more like a... It's a tool that is just for optimizing your damage. Which, in my opinion, is, feels like a better place for attack speed to be in anyways, right? Maybe I'm crazy. But it feels like that's kind of... That should be the main point for it. So tree, yes. I have to take the three range damage. Even less enemies sounds hilarious. Uh, we can take pumpkin. The piercing is not going to be quite as relevant, but the further in the run we get, the more relevant it will be. Definitely taking scar. All right, we got all blues. Don't mind if I do. Take alien worm, I suppose. 108 damage already. Like, again, I know it's slow, but dang, dude. We're going to want a little bit of attack speed up probably before wave 9, because while it is, uh, you know, 25% uh, enemies, it's still a lot, right? That, that wave still summons a lot, so we're going to need a little bit more. It'll be a wave that we utilize our piercing, I think, a lot. Which is fine. I mean, that's what it's there for to be used Ooh, doo -doo. holy moly Look at all the money it's just so satisfying to see them burst into so much money I don't know I don't know there's something about this guy man I'll take the range damage even over the speed I know 12% damage Fertilizer we could totally take. It'll pay itself off. After not that long, I don't think. I will take a metal plate. And you know what? I'll take a weird ghost too. Let's be weird with it. Let's be weird with it. It's wave 8. I don't think I'd do that on wave 9. Just because it's the weird thing. Like wave 9 is a wave that most runs a door. Right? Like, that is a really good run, uh, or a really good spot for most runs. Not this whole weapon. No siree. It is by far our worst, especially since we have not taken any attack speed yet. None. Absolutely none. That's all right, though. I mean, like, look at the damage output. It's frankly silly. Frankly, very, 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 very silly. Okay, we definitely would die in one hit from a charger right now. Oh! Pop him. Uh, <laughs> I want to, but just not yet. Okay. 7% uh, crit chance. It's good. Or regen is good. Feeling a little bit weird about it. I'll take a little bit more armor. Again, just... <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Where are we at? Uh, the ritual. It's just it's too expensive for this run, I think. I'm a little concerned. We're gonna have to utilize our piercing pretty well. Eh. Thank God it has piercing. That that's just, I guess that's the uh, entirety of how I feel right now. Just thank God it has any amount of piercing. It's weird that we have this much damage, and I feel like I need lumberjack shirt. That it. It just feels odd to me. It's just because the trees get the HP buff that the enemies get, which, in my opinion, they probably shouldn't unless they drop more money as well. Maybe they do, and I'm just not sure. If they drop more money, then it's fine. In fact, it's kind of busted that you can get just Lumberjack shirt in that situation, but I feel like they don't. Because I thought it said enemies money drop. Yeah, they're not dropping double. Ooh, boy. That was scary. I'll take it. 
Flat HP is going to go a long way. I will take some speed. Yes, definitely. That that will up our <laughs> damage. It really will. That's a gun. Not yet, handcuffs. Pushing it. Oh, this is wave 10. I'm really... That was really pushing it. We'll see. It won't get a bit... Ooh! It won't get too scary until a bit later in the wave, but... Still. We're one-shottable. I think we're still one-shottable. It's kind of tough to say. They do a lot more damage, so... My normal calculations that I kind of can just... Casually think about... Not really applicable here. Kind of out of my comfort zone with Jack, which is exactly why I like him. It does feel like a completely different mode, more or less. Where some of the characters are just like different little flavors with different little boosts, potentially. Jack really does feel kind of like a different mode. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, we, we really would like a little bit of attack speed here. Okay. Killing the loot goblin is a bit tougher. Nah. Even more damage, sure. What are we at? 163! I'll definitely take bait. It's good on this character. It spawns less. Uh, Vigilante ring is still good on wave... Uh, well, it's good on wave 12 as well, but it's good on wave 11 is what I meant. Alright, so there is that. We killed the, uh, the bait guy. Just like that, he is gone. <laughs> Nice and easy. Ooh. All right. I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe the revolver is better. It's kind of where I was, uh, where I'm landing right now. I think maybe that gun is just truly, truly incredible. Like laser gun. Don't get me wrong. It's a perfect fit for this character, and this is working very, very well. I think I'm just surprised at how nuts Revolver is. I think it's just maybe slightly overtuned. Do I want it nerfed? I'm not saying that. Please, oh please, I am not saying that. But maybe, maybe it's just a bit overtuned. Because I would have thought this would be a, on paper, this is a logically a better, oh, good, we got him. Logically, this is a better fit. I'm going to say no to that. Three armor could help. Bag, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do we have for range? Still, still positive. All right, which elite? Okay, summoner. Summoner is actually pretty awkward on Jack, since it summons the same amount of units, you see? You know? It's a little bit weird. Whoop. Feels like it should maybe summon a bit less, if you ask me, but... Uh-oh. That was a bad place to be, but it worked out okay. And now we have to deal with the tentacle spawns, don't we? Yep. Yes, sir. This is awkward. Oh. Okay, so that's actually a really good uh, wake-up call for where our damage is for taken. Damage taken, that is. But yes, yeah, summoner for... Ooh, that was a lucky dodge. Summoner for Jack sucks really bad. That's kind of a weird thing. Huh. 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 Because it summons the same amount of enemies. Curious. Oh, boy. All right. Let's bump them up. 5% dodge. Chance to heal on dodge. It's got, uh, it got an increase. I will say Warrior Helmet's going to be a bit better right now. 50% chance to heal 5 when you dodge. It's also 5 dodge, though, so I think it's good. But yeah, the attack speed increase is going to be really nice. It's not like a, something we need it 
quite as desperately. But again, especially, well, especially now that I took uh, Gentle Alien, which I will say should theoretically buff up my um, my income by a metric butt ton. Going from 25% uh, enemy spawned up to 30% enemy spawned when they are this tough is a big deal. That being said, it's a big amount of money. A really big amount of money. Yeah, this look at all the all the cash. Okay, we got the loot goblin, good. That is that is nice. No, I'm not gonna do that. Extra stomach. One max HP whenever you pick up a consumable at max health. Yes. Go for some attack speed here. What the hell? Life steal? What are these? Life steal, 2% damage for every life steal you have. But you take 1% damage every sec? No. That's good. That's a really good item for not us. I'm excited to have a run where I get to play with that. But it is not now. Blindfold is good right now. Our range is getting tanked. We're all trying to find the guy who did this. Hosts also a little bit awkward. Summoning, because uh, they summon the same amount. They summon three units anyways. There's a couple, yeah, there's just a couple things that I think maybe should be tweaked for Jack. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird because it can be looked at as a positive as well, but... I'd say mostly it feels like a kind of a weird inconsistency, right? And I feel like that trumps, um, you know, OP or underpowered or overpowered or anything. I feel like if something feels inconsistent or wrong, I feel like that's most important. That takes precedence over strength, in my humble opinion. But yeah, I'm I'm feeling strong. Wouldn't mind honestly I wouldn't mind another gentle alien. Sure. Get some flat range or some percentage. Eh, flat ranged. I could get repost. Could get knocked back. Community support. This is the, perhaps the worst character to have community support on. Right? Stop. Rocket launcher? What are you doing? Is the is the negative luck bug back or something? What's going on? <gasps> That's big. Doing it on an elite wave is funny, but it shouldn't matter. Oh wait, there's two of them. And that's a dead elite. And we get a party. We're doing crits for like 600. 632 on those. Oh god, the babies. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. It spawns three anyways, man. Not cool, man. Yes, there are less on the screen because there's less hosts. So I guess, like, that's the... That's, I guess, the argument, I suppose. But it's... I don't know. Again, not... Not is it... Not too strong, too weak, too yada yada yada. Just... Oh, God. Bite me. Just, uh... Strange. Definitely take that. I wish we had it. In that last one, but it's fine. Our range is going in the pooper. I don't know if we need that much more armor at this point. 60% uh, crit. Do like it, do like it, do like it. Did we grab... Yeah, we have adrenaline. We need to pick up food at max health. That's such a weird thing. I know I took the item, but like, it's, it's so strange, right? Am I wrong? 
it's a whole different mentality that I've never had to utilize. Yeah, oh god, that's so weird. That's really good, though. Kind of busted, in fact. I guess we're risking it because, like, we're getting rid of our, our safety options in case we take damage. I feel like it's fine, though. Okay, yeah, that item seems really good. Stupid good, perhaps. More food, please? I don't have high luck and there's less enemies, so we're going to be getting less of it than... Stop. Than normal. Uh, wave 17 bag is not that exciting anymore. Uh, pruner... Yeah. All right. 315. Oh my god. Six times range damage scaling. Can I find some more range damage, please? I have 12, which is not that much. But the fact that it's not that much and we're still doing this much damage is pretty darn good. Not to mention percentage damage is still probably king, right? If we're being honest. Like, does it help? Sure. Don't get me wrong, it's big. It's helpful. Zoop. Alright, we got... I don't know. I think we got uh, a good run going here. Took a little bit of scaling, but now we got there and we are kind of flying. Oh, man, pick up the food at full health. I can't. I'm not at full health. It's so weird. Such a such a different thing to get used to. I scream at my screen. Wah! I know. I know. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough to see things you don't like. Um, I'm going to say no to that garbage because it's not, it's not garbage, but I just don't want it. Uh, another laser gun. At this point, we need a, yep, I was going to say a blue or higher. I'm going to go as far as to say bandana's not worth it on a jack run, which is a really weird feeling. Ugly tooth is literally just for the final boss. Well, I guess it could be for this boss too. Uh, chef. Okay. We need to kill him quite quickly to get his free health. There we go. We're fine again. Just wanted to push it a little bit, you know? I want to go a little bit aggro with it. There we go. Full health. Health up. Health up. Health. I go. Excuse me? Lovefish? I can't get that one. That one's not on me. Wait, did it, did it move? Nope. That's not my fault. I think we might have done 10. Yep. How did I know? I was not counting. That internal clock. Internal calculator, I guess? More like an internal abacus. Of course. Yes. That's a nuts item. I'm going to say no at this, this point. That's pretty big. All right, full. Fine. If I'm trying to kill the boss fast, that's actively bad. That has crit chance on it as well, so. All right, we might get like three of these now. Oh, we well, we did, but <laughs> but they're gone now. This is such a high amount of damage for a run that was not abusing Ghost Axe. I just assumed that was out of my range. 
Okay, we're getting so many enemies showing up now. Just two gentle aliens for Jack is so much different than two gentle aliens on anybody else. Okay. But we're also going to be getting a lot more money. So much more money. Than we would have. That guy is so freaking fast. And guess what? I'm going to be uh, not at full HP for a while here. Oh, no. And picking up food doesn't even really help. I'm bescrewed, man. We get it at the end of the wave anyways. We get it at the end of the freaking wave anyways. Uh, give me that. Yes. Take range damage up. What's our attack speed? 82? It's really good. I just don't need it anymore. Uh, 87. Sure. Tower degrade. I think we can pass. Oh my god. I would have done it earlier, but I'm not going to do it now. On the boss? That's stupid. In fact, on the boss, on the boss, I'm taking white flag. That actually is an active, uh, pretty, pretty big increase for us to have one, like a lot less enemies to worry about. Okay. I was trying to line them up, strike them down. And bye bye. I love this character, dude. I love this character. Oh, I got an achievement for winning with Jack. Oh, that's right. I always uh, I always get the, the wins on the beta. I still don't have the achievement for winning with Streamer. Because I have not wanted to touch them ever since I uh, played them on beta branch. Uh, but yeah, God, I love Jack. So good. I will say this uh, shows off. It didn't show off it that much. But 32 stats gained from extra stomach is stupid. Like, can we talk about that? Can we talk about Grind's Magical Leaf giving you potentially... Like, we had we had this for a small amount of time. This could be stupid. This could be stupid. If you had this, like, on wave 10, you could pretty easily get 100, right? You could pretty easily get 100. Let's... For legendaries, I'm kind of I kind of like to think more like the optimal a a very like cool and strong but kind of kind of rare time to get it is wave 12 from maybe like killing an elite or something. So if you keep that in mind, it's potentially an 80 health increase. Kind of a big deal, dude. Yes, you have to pick up the stuff, but also not really because it get absorbed to you at the end of the wave, uh, which I did forget about. And uh, making it so even when I quote unquote misplayed it, I didn't even really misplay it. 32. Yeah. Uh, truthfully, I just needed like more HP regen or something like that. So I would be at full health more likely. But yeah, this is really good. Silver Bullet, I love it. Uh, bait, very good on Jack. Um, and actually getting a, a couple gentle aliens was pretty cool on Jack as well. I think it's a strong pairing, but it's dangerous. You need a very powerful weapon. Uh, laser gun's super strong. If, if, and probably when Revolver gets nerfed, <laughs> like, I hope it doesn't, but I, you know, when it probably does, uh, I think laser gun will remain an incredible choice for Jack. But, yeah. Alas, alas, that's that. That's gonna do it here for today. Thank you for watching. You know, check out the channel, Roguelike some more. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got, uh, did, did Blobfish, Blobfish made a, a scroll bar literally just because of Cyborg. There was no scroll bar feature, it, at least for the character text boxes, I will say from modding, uh, until now. So that's kind of cool. There's obviously scrolling features in other things, but still. Dang, man. Alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Roguelike's more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.